Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. We had a nice Sunday of player prop picks going 2-1-1, one, and one, almost a 3-1 and one afternoon. We are now 3-2-1 and one on the season. Very early here in week number one, but we are going to close it out the right way here on Monday night between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Washington Redskins. And our first play on the little-known Eli Rogers of Pittsburgh, who has an over-under of just 37 and a half receiving yards. Now, Rogers has been getting some playing time here with the first unit, and with Marcus Wheaton out, he with Marcus Wheaton even in the game, he was going to be out on the field. It looked like in three wide sets. Now, with Wheaton out of the game. You could see Rodgers with five, six, maybe even seven targets in this game if the Redskins really sell out in stopping Antonio Brown. I don't think they're going to shadow Brown with Josh Norman, but either way here in this one, I think Rodgers is actually going to be the third offensive weapon for the Steelers in this game in the slot right behind D'Angelo Williams and, of course, the aforementioned Antonio Brown. Sammy Coates' name has been thrown around a lot. Obviously, the Steelers have young Jesse James as a tight end as well. He should get some targets this evening as well. But I think Rodgers is going to be that third option, that uh, that guy who will get you 8 to 10 yards in a short play across the middle. He, they, he calls himself the illusionist. Any guy who has the confidence in his second NFL season to call himself the illusionist, especially for a guy who was undrafted, I'm going to go with over here at 37.5 uh, against the Washington Redskins. Now, Kirk Cousins up next over under half an interception now obviously the juice with the over a little bit here at minus 160 but I still think it's a very good possibility that the Cousins gets picked off in this one now the Steelers were one of the worst passing defenses in the NFL last year however they ranked sixth in the NFL in picks so they should still be a pretty good takeaway unit here regardless and even though that they are missing one of their young corners here in this game. I think the Steelers' defense has improved a lot over the offseason, and they could give the Washington Redskins some trouble here, especially in a passing game that really doesn't have a true number one option, maybe outside of Jordan Reed, and I think the Steelers are good enough to slow him down and maybe to pose a little bit more of a problem here for the rest of the Redskins' skill players. I think Cousins gets picked here in this one. He got picked in the preseason. He threw eight picks in his first six games last year as a starter. Maybe those early season jitters are going to continue here for a guy only entering his second year as a starter take over half an interception at minus 160 from Bovada Sportsbook. Best of luck to you on that one. Let's get a couple more wins to round out week number one. Make sure you check out my player or my team prop pick, excuse me, for Monday Night Football as well. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.